Hello students, in the last class we studied about the Aldol condensation and cross Aldol condensation. In this class we can study about last reaction very very important in majority paper they can ask this question for the two mark that is name is the Kyanizaros Kyanizaro reaction Kyanizaro reaction this is very important one for your board exam all the students must practice this one repeatedly Kyanizaros reaction means aldehydes and ketones aldehyde which not have aldehydes not have the alpha hydrogen atom for aldol condensation you have to consider aldehydes having alpha hydrogen atom but for canizaros reaction aldehydes not have alpha hydrogen atom they undergo self condensation they undergo sorry no, they undergo self oxidation and reduction they undergo self oxidation and reduction commonly the reaction is called disproportionation 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 reaction same element undergo both oxidation and reduction it is called disproportionation reaction they undergo self oxidation and reduction by heating with by heating with dilute alkali dilute alkali like NaOH or KOH dilute alkali like NaOH or KOH this reaction is called Kyanizaro reaction Kyanizaro reaction means aldehydes and ketones not having alpha hydrogen atom on heating with dilute alkali like NaOH or KOH they undergo self oxidation and reduction commonly called disproportionation reaction that is one aldehyde uh, one molecule of the aldehyde that undergo oxidation that oxidized to one aldehyde one of the aldehyde oxidized one of the aldehyde oxidized to carboxylic acid and another aldehyde we are using two moles another aldehyde reduced reduced to alcohol these are the products form this reaction is called Kyanizaros reaction Kyanizaros reaction aldehyde not having alpha hydrogen atom on heating with dilute alkali like NaOH or KOH they undergo self oxidation and reduction to form that is one of the aldehyde oxidized to salt of carboxylic acid salt of carboxylic acid another aldehyde reduced to alcohol alcohol then consider the examples you take two moles of the formaldehyde HCHO formaldehyde not contain alpha hydrogen atom hence formaldehyde undergo Kyanizaros reaction why formaldehyde or benzaldehyde one more example is a benzaldehyde why formaldehyde and benzaldehyde not undergo Kyanizaros reaction means because they not contain the alpha hydrogen atom you treat formaldehyde with NaOH or you can take KOH also concentrated NaOH or concentrated KOH concentrated NaOH or concentrated KOH you, I split this formaldehyde two moles two moles of the formaldehyde one formaldehyde get reduced and already we are explained that one aldehyde undergo reduction to form the alcohol from the formaldehyde the product form is CH3OH methyl alcohol methyl alcohol then another aldehyde 
get oxidized another aldehyde oxidized to salt of the carboxylic acid by using this formaldehyde you can write hcooh this undergo reduction reduction means addition of hydrogen this accepts the hydrogen to form ch3oh this undergo oxidation oxidation means addition of oxygen forms for uh, carboxylic salt of the carboxylic acid this is called methyl alcohol methyl alcohol this is called potassium salt of formic acid potassium salt of uh, formic acid you have to familiar with these names also or potassium formate potassium formate or potassium salt of the formic acid consider second example benzaldehyde c6h5cho when two moles of the benzaldehyde reacts with concentrated naoh or koh they undergo self oxidation and reduction that is one benzaldehyde undergo oxidation another one undergo reduction first you reduce consider the reduced product reduction means they accept the hydrogen this one benzaldehyde accepts the hydrogen to form ch2oh ch2oh and another one is undergo oxidation accepts the oxygen to form c6h5coona most important one you have to mention the product's name that uh, this is alcohol the alcohol name is benzyl alcohol so majority of the student they can write this one as the phenol not it is the phenol this is c6h5ch2oh it is benzyl alcohol and this is sodium benzoate sodium benzoate or you can consider sodium salt of benzoic acid any one sodium benzoate or sodium salt of benzoic acid these two reactions are very very important this is benzaldehyde by using benzaldehyde we are considered the canizaros reaction this is by taking formaldehyde we write either two moles of formaldehyde or you can split that one as hcho simply you can write uh, uh, two moles of the hcho formaldehyde two moles of hcho plus concentrated koh or concentrated naoh any one any alkali then one uh, aldehyde undergo reduction reduced product always alcohol another aldehyde undergo oxidation oxidized product is a uh, salt of the corresponding carboxylic acid by using formaldehyde products for a methyl alcohol and the salt of the formic acid or so, uh, salt uh, sodium salt of the formic acid or potassium salt of the formic acid or potassium formate sodium formate by using benzaldehyde we can write benzyl alcohol that uh, aldehyde undergo reduction form benzyl alcohol aldehyde undergo oxidation form sodium benzoate or potassium benzoate or sodium salt of benzoic acid very very important all the please all the students practice twice and twice they definitely you can get two marks or sometimes three marks also very very important one this is about the canizaros reaction the last part in aldehydes and ketones is electrophilic substitution reaction in electrophilic substitution reaction We are, in our syllabus they are considered the benzaldehyde by taking benzaldehyde CHO this CHO group is an electron withdrawing hence that accepts the electron pi electron moves towards this carbon atom carbonyl carbon then the resonance structure is here positive charge develop double bond CO minus H Here double bond, double bond. Again, to satisfy this double bond, here this they make it double bond shifted to this position. Then next resonance structure is here double bond develop. Here positive charge get present. Then double bond C H O minus. Again to satisfy this the positive charge, double bond moves to this corner. Next you can write the resonance structure as. This is the resonance structure. 
here double bond here double bond positive charge double sorry double bond ch o minus finally this bond shifted to this position this bond shifted to this position finally the resonance structure it becomes here double bond double double bond ch o you observe the resonance structures of the benzaldehyde at ortho and para position at ortho and para position they arise as a positive charge hence incoming electrophile not prefers to add at ortho and para position that cho group is a ring deactivator it is a ring deactivator because it decreases the electron density at ortho and para position due to that ring deactivating nature incoming electrophile prefers to add at meta position only hence cho is an meta orienting in all chlorobenzene anisole phenol were considered ortho and para derivatives but in benzaldehyde you have to write only one product that is meta derivative only you have in our syllabus only one electrophilic substitution reaction that is nitration of the benzaldehyde for that one nitration of benzaldehyde nitration of benzaldehyde for that one you take benzaldehyde already we have considered that cho is a meta orienting treated with concentrated hno3 concentrated h2so4 at 273 to 283 kelvin 273 to 283 kelvin cho is meta orienting hence we write only one product that is cho at the meta position right in what to this is called meta nitro benzaldehyde meta nitro benzaldehyde most important one because majority students are writing ortho and para but uh, benzaldehyde is a uh, meta derivative hence it gives meta nitro benzaldehyde this is about the nitration of the benzaldehyde then you can you consider the uses of these aldehydes and ketones among them most important one is formaldehyde formaldehyde used as an formalin formaldehyde used as the formalin they can ask this one for the one more what is formalin formalin means the 40% aqueous solution of formaldehyde 40% aqueous solution of formaldehyde commonly called as the formalin 40% aqueous solution of formaldehyde is called formalin formalin this is generally used to preserve the biological specimen biological specimens then formaldehyde also used in the preparation of urotropin urotropin used as an urinary antiseptic urinary antiseptic urotropin means hexamethylene tetramine hexamethylene for the cvt time at the time of competitive classes i will explain this about the urotropin hexamethylene tetramine that is used as an urinary antiseptic that is used in the preparation of the rdx that is research development explosive that is obtained by the nitration of the urotropin rdx the formaldehyde used in the as an formalin formalin meaning is 40% aqueous solution of formaldehyde then also used in the preparation of urotropin urotropin means hexamethylene tetramine used as an urinary antiseptic and uh, urotropin on nitration forms the rdx used as an explosive then acetaldehyde used as a starting material in the manufacture of acetic acid ethyl acetate for the polymers etc there is about the acetaldehyde users then benzaldehyde used in the perfume and dye industry benzaldehyde used in the perfume and dye industry that is the dye name called as an malachite green malachite green that benzaldehyde used in the preparation of the malachite green acetone is used as an industrial solvent 
acetone is used as an industrial solvent and most important one acetophenone acetophenone used as a tear gas tear gas tear gas phenyl chloride tear gas commonly called as the phenyl chloride phenyl chloride is very most important one among the carbonyl compound name the carbonyl compound used in the preparation of the tear gas means acetophenone acetophenone commonly called as the phenyl chloride used as a tear gas then and also that is used as a hypnotic that the acetophenone is used on as an hypnotic under the trade name called as an hypnone hypnone this is about the uses of aldehydes and <coughs> ketones this is about the aldehydes <coughs> aldehydes and ketones in the next class i can study <coughs> about the carboxylic acids up to here aldehydes and ketones get completed in this chapter many named reactions are present all the students must practice the named reactions either the preparation or in the properties first you practice the named reactions in the next class you can consider the carboxylic acids